morning everybody today is a wednesday off to work i've been working just on wednesdays the last couple of weeks which is really good though because at least instead of doing like two three hour shifts at least i get like a full day rather than having to pay for parking twice it's just really really annoying anyways yesterday was a really 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 good night about to head off now i finished at six so i'm not sure if i'm gonna be make it <laughs> I finished at 6 o'clock and how has basketball tonight? Yes, I'm so happy for him. He's been like so sad about not playing. But now he finally gets to play and I think the games are like 6.50 so I'm not sure if I'm going to make it. But let's just see and let's head off to work now. Whoa, I don't care about what they say. I'ma do me, want you niggas do the same. I won't change up, everything will be the same. Everybody hungry, trying to steal from my trade. Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday. Philly's at work right now, so you guys will see her at work. But right now, I'm running, always right now, I'm running late. And I'm gonna say it again, as always. I'm having lunch with Ads. If you guys don't know who Ads is, Adam. He owns Pandora, if you guys know, Saturday nights, Bamboo, every single night. That's why I'm always there. Uh, he has some things that I, he wants to speak to me about. And I wanna to speak to him about some things about the Brisbane thing, exactly, because he's a very, very smart man. Like, very smart man. Owns his own business, talks a lot of crap though. But when it comes to business, he's the man to speak to. And um, that's we always bounce ideas. The best thing about business, you guys, no matter what league or field you're in, try to get as much as advice all around in like in in, blah, blah, in general. Sorry, I'm gonna set it all again so that it makes some sort of sense. If you guys sort of understand business. No matter if you're a baker, if you own Baker's Delight, McDonald's, uh, a sneaker shop, or whatever, it all sort of generates and runs around the same concept. And it's great to bounce ideas of someone that isn't in the same field as you because you get a different sort of uh, concept and, and uh, view of what you're doing. And it might enlighten you and give you some ideas. It usually does for me. Let's get on the road. Oh God. <laughs> I am vlogging whilst I'm driving, but I'm keeping my eyes on the road. The car in front of me flinged a fucking piece of wood like this big on top of my car, like underneath my car. It hit somewhere on my car and I'm dreading stopping and pulling over and seeing what it looks like. Fuck! It made like this epic sound as well. God damn. I just got to Pandora and I left my car. Time to see. Oh, nothing happened. So happy nothing happened. Shit. Damn. Ah, oh, this. I need to get that fixed. Look how nice this place looks right now. Hello, Ads. Hi, Bruce. How are you? Good. Hi. Your shirt looks too tight. <laughs> oh, these wings look so good. I'm pretty sure that's hot and that's barbecue. Not too sure. Making a quick pit stop at home because I need to finish packing up some stuff that I need to send out for later on today. Post office closes in about 40 minutes. I've got to sew up a hat because someone purchased a hat and I usually like to get everything out ASAP. And quickly, I'm just gonna, sorry, I'm gonna put you guys down. I have so much to talk about. All right, there's a lot of things that I don't like about YouTubers and there's a lot of things that I do, right? One of these things is that a lot of YouTubers are not crystal clear with their, like this is not even just for us, it's for you guys, you guys are like, like family and friends like you guys are like one of my best mates like I talk to you guys every single day so it's the same policy both ways like you guys need to know 110% what's going on all right everyone's been asking me about these these are embroidered box logo tees right so from the very beginning I was a startup brand and I didn't find anyone that could help me the only person that really helped me was Mark from Saintside right 
I'm doing a limited edition release of these t-shirts with a brand new Australian boutique store that's coming up. And I was like, hey, you know what, guys, I'll stock you guys 10 of these. I'll send out, I'll push you guys through my social medias, through this, through whatever. This is not sponsored. Like, this is no sponsorship, no nothing. I was like, hey, you guys, get it. Purchase these at this rate and you guys sell it for retail. Retail is $40 and I was like, be sure that the retail will only be $40 because I don't want you guys to get ripped off and I don't want the people purchasing to get ripped off, but I still want them to make money. So I took my cut out of these, gave them to what I, I, I get them at, and they can make whatever money they want, but it's only gonna be $40 for you guys. It's gonna be an Australian website, it's going to be released sometime in early March. I can't tell you guys exactly when it's going to get released because they're still working on it at the moment. Um, I really need to speak to you guys later because, yeah, as you guys know, I'm in a rush. So, oh, wait, 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 quickly. Just to uh, secretly tell you guys, uh, there's something crazy happening on a Saturday as well, soon. I can't tell you guys exactly what's going to ha be happening on a Saturday, but as soon as we come back from our Singapore and Malaysia trip, something insane is going to happen for Saturday. Like Saturdays in general, and I support this person. So I was like, hey, you know what? I'll give you my 110% clarity on what we're going to do together, and it's going to work. And I hope you guys could be a part of it too. It's even like a place that you guys could probably just come down and hang and chill with us as well. Um, yeah, it's... Oh, I'm so tired! Oh, wait, one more thing, one more thing. This has gone for three minutes. I'm playing basketball tonight with JD. That's sick. I haven't played basketball in so long. So I'm going to be playing at Kilo at 6.10. Hi, Biggie. Hi, honey. Hi, puppies. What are you doing? Oh, you're so excited to see me, aren't you? I missed you today. Hey, honey. Hey. All you care about is your toy. Hello, little cutie. Oh, look at that face of yours. <laughs> Good evening, guys. Just got home, obviously. Um, I had a really, really good day at work. It went by a little bit long. All I can say is my body is aching. As you guys saw in yesterday's vlog, oh my goodness, we did exercises and I did suicides and like throwing the basketball. I'm feeling it right now. Like my ribs I just saw when I cough, when I move, everything was just painful. I don't know if I need to keep doing more exercise or if I should just stop right here. I think I had this conversation with you guys a few weeks back when I was doing a little bit of exercise, but the pain is so real right now. I'm not gonna be able to make it to Hal's basketball game because it started at 6.10 instead. And I think it's like past 6.10 right now. So yeah, I hope he has a good game and he enjoys it because he's missed it so much. So I'm just gonna um, edit some vlogs, I think, just whilst I wait for him to come back and prepare dinner and all that stuff, catch up on some shows. You know, it's a really, really nice day. So I'm hoping that it cools down before it gets dark so I can take the dogs for a walk because you guys know now, when it's like over 25 degrees, make sure you check the ground to see if it's hot or if it's cool because if it's hot and you can't walk on it, your dogs cannot walk on it. Anyways, let's get to work. Damn, just got the basketball and I'm not that late. I was like two minutes late. But guess who I'm playing with? Look, that's Joe. He's dribbling the ball right there, right there. <laughs> so Joe, how do you feel after the game? Oh. Yeah. We, um, how much you guys lose by? Two points? No, three. Four, five, five. Yeah, it was a pretty shitty game. I'm not gonna lie. Good game to be back though. I'm about to play with these guys. I'm, I always play against these dudes in the finals and now I'm somehow on their team. That's weird. Oh, hi puppy. Hi. 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 Hi, babe. Hi, babe. Hi. Oh, well, I was so fast to the same thing. Yeah. I did it. How's work? It was good. How's work? Good. Oh, I didn't even go to work. Were you working back? Yeah, it's okay. 
tonight's dinner we are gonna be having Jamie Oliver it's just a chili garlic and rosemary it's chicken fillets it tastes so good gonna have with some rice I've got that cooked already and just simple broccoli with garlic and chili which is the bomb Philly made dinner broccolis some chicken and cucumber my favorite rice too thought about that MKI time to eat I'm about to start some late night work so these exclusive I'm gonna send them 10 exclusive box logo tees like these to this company I'm gonna link it down below when it does get released it's not gonna get released on this vlog they're gonna release it on February 25th yes February 25th there's gonna be 10 t-shirts available on their website it's gonna do a massive like it's like a little launch teaser sort of thing so people go to their website I'm more than happy to help local Websites like this. So let's start. This looks pretty straight. First t-shirt finished. I'm hoping uh, these iron marks don't stay on. Highly doubt it though. Because it's just... I fucking hate this light. This light is the most shittest light to ever work in. Seriously, it's so crap. But this t-shirt's all done. Ready to go. Doing this custom tote bag for James Allow. So he wanted this logo at that spot right there. Super easy to do. Just got to sew it up. But I'm going to sew everything that's black first because I have black thread on it. Let's come over here. All these t-shirts are ready to get sewn. All these are getting specially released on Brandon's website right here. So there will only be uh, two, two size small, three mediums, three larges, and two extra larges going to him. He will be the first ones to release these tees. Time to sit down to do the final touch. Sew this properly on just in case. I sew it on just in case it doesn't fall off. And i got to put a tag on it as well. These are the tags. Philly's mum taught me that. Got to close it twice. Twice. The finished product. I try to really hide the stitching. It goes perfectly across the top. You guys can't even see it, which is exactly right there, right there. See, there you go. It goes all the way around. Super dope. That is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Ooh, Piggy just freaked out because the door slammed on him. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, share it to your friends and family. Don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified whenever we upload new videos. We'll speak to you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.